And the outside, the T4 of Mr. Consistency, Ryan Top. However, I do not see either car out there right now. Okay, looks like uh, Hunter Weber is uh, now joining the field. Still no top, so we'll see what's going to happen there. We are not waiting for Hunter Weber. We are going to green. And it is going to be the 777 the Cody Olsen leading him down into turn one. That is going to put the double OK of Trey Klein back to second. Jim Teese now sitting third. Chris Mills in fourth. Hunter Weber trying to go to the whip to play catch up. All your top four throw them under a blanket right now. And a, a small one at that. As Klein looked like he was going to possibly try to take a shot at the triple seven. Not going to happen as they come out of two. Olsen now starting to gap Klein ever so slightly. Now, oh, Klein drives her in way deep into three. And might lose second for his troubles as here comes the Mabel to farm boy, Jim Teese. Teese not quite able to capitalize, however. It is still Olsen, Klein, Teese, and Mills, your top four. Hunter Weber still back there trying to get some seat time in that 99W modified. We have, oh, Trey Klein sideways. He's able to gather it back up, but he is going to cost him as he is going to fall back from second to fourth and a ways back from fourth. That's now going to move Jim Tease up to second. Chris Mills up to P3 right now. Klein back to fourth. Weber still sitting in fifth. as we now have three laps to go. Make that two laps to go as the green flag is in the air. Matt Stuby, he's putting out the laundry right now. Jim Tease going to the whip. He is gaining on the triple seven of Olsen. But is it going to be enough? Is they're going to come down and see the white flag this time by as they slide it down into three and four? T's going to snug up on the back bumper of Olsen. One lap to go. We may, see, we may have a battle for the win here, folks. T's looking to the inside. Not quite able to do it. Olsen better run off of two. He's going to put a little bit of a gap between him and the defending track champ. T's going to drive it in one more time. Has to get sideways to avoid contact. It's going to be Cody Olsen winning. Jim T second. Chris Mills third. Trey Klein fourth. And Hunter Weber is going to round out that top five. Wow. Let's take a look at your starting lineup for your second to final heat of your quality truck tire and auto service modifieds. On the pole scheduled to be, where's all my Stevens fans at? The 92 of Jeff Stevens to the outside. The 88 from Sergeant Bluff of Sean Berrigan. Scheduled second row, the one of Craig, the one R of Craig Reitz. And scheduled to start fourth, 15 M of Shane DeMay. Fifth, Bob Moore in the 48 car. We're green in heat race number two. Looks like Shane DeMay not making the call. As they, uh, so it's going to be a four pack as they fire it down. It is going to be the Sergeant Bluff native, Sean Berrigan, as he is going to uh, hit, have actually quite a bit of a lead as Bob Moore, Brady's favorite driver, Bob Moore, now going to the inside of the 92 of Jeff Stevens. Lap one, it is going to be Sean Berrigan with the lead. Berrigan continues to show the way. Stevens in second. Bob Moore wanted the second spot, but now he's all the way back where he started in fourth. Coming after that runner-off spot now on the inside is Craig Reitz. He will drive it deep into turn number three. And off of turn number four, it remains the 92 car spot. Former track champion in the 92 of Jeff Stevens. Former track champion in the 1R of Craig Reitz. And Rutro Raggy 
We have a question. All four of the cars are still there. So, you know, Kimson, I have to think it's that doggone French driver, Jacques Debry, reeling his ugly head. Another driver that doesn't run for points, kind of like Mother Nature, but can ruin the fun for everybody. Right, exactly. No matter what your equipment needs, Van Wall will have a John Deere to meet those needs. Van Wall is also the proud presenting partner of where every driver wants to end up, Van Wall Victory Lane at the Crawford County Speedway. Van Wall equipment, nothing runs like a deer. Matt Stubbe drops the green. We are back and racing. Six laps to get, six laps to get, or, uh, excuse me, six laps to get. Okay, Kimson, let's try this all over again. Six laps to go, two laps down. There we go. Now I got it. And look at this. Where's my Stevens fans at? New leader, Jeff Stevens. Stevens goes around the 88 of Berrigan. That also opens the door for the one R of Reitz. Reitz not able to capitalize, however, but right now Jeff Stevens guarantees making all those fans down there in turn four extremely happy. Stevens to the point, halfway home when we come by this time. Berrigan still in the second spot. Still catfishing around the bottom as Craig Reitz trying to make progress up into the runner-up spot. Stevens continues the high line right now off of one and two. And he has gapped the field by about five or six car lengths back to Berrigan. And once again to the bottom goes the one car of Reitz. Bob Moore still bringing up the rear right now. Craig Reitz once again trying to go to work on Sean Berrigan. Tried the low line, didn't work. Now gonna try the high line. Really not gonna work as he uh, jumps the cushion, gets in the crumblies, and is going to lose quite a bit of ground. We're gonna see two laps to go this time by. It is still Stevens, Berrigan, Reitz, and more your field. Steven smooth on the top side. Berrigan trying to track him down. The lead remains the same down the back chute. And to the white flag comes Stevens. Jeff Stevens coming out turn four. He's going to see the white hanky in the air. One more lap to go. Just has to hang on for three-eighths of a mile longer as he uh, slings it right up along the cushion in three. Oh, he jumps the cushion just a little bit. That's going to allow Berrigan a chance to catch up as he does make up quite a bit of ground. Not quite enough, though. Stevens can hang on. Yes, Jeff Stevens is going to win the heat race. Sean Berrigan second, Greg Reese third. And Bob Moore is going to round out the field. Let them hear you. These drivers are putting on a Friday night delight for you, so give them the respect and love they deserve. It's a feature time for your quality truck tire and auto service modifieds. Row number three to the inside, the most recent winner here at the Crawford County Speedway, the O2 Junior of Chris Mills into the outside, the 1R of Craig Reitz. Starting in the fourth row, the number 23 car, Jim Tees. And on the outside of row number four, the 99W of Hunter Weber. And row number five to the inside, that's going to be Brady's favorite driver, the 48 of Bob Moore to the outside, the 15M of Shane DeMay. And rounding out the field, Mr. Consistency, the T4 of Ryan Top. We are modified racing for 20 laps. As they fire it off down into one and two, it is going to be the double OK with the advantage. But guys, they come out of two. There goes that GRT, the 92 of Jeff Stevens taking the early advantage. Again, Klein trying to, not going to happen. Jeff Stevens leads lap number one. Stevens continues to show the way up top. Klein trying to get after him from the runner-up spot on the bottom of the racetrack. Cody Olsen rounding out the podium right now, but Berrigan wants that third position. They're side-by-side side all the way back through the top eight. It is Jeff Stevens straight through. Trey Klein, Cody Olson, Sean Berrigan, and the Mabel to Farm Boy, Jim Tees. And check this out. From 10th, now up to P6. Moving forward momentum. That is a 15 M machine to make. As he's now going to go to the outside of Jim Tees. Trying to get to the top five. What a charge by Shane DeMay, already up into the top five. If he can get by the 23 car down the back straightaway, he does. Can he make it to two for down the back shoot? 
still on the outside. He has got that 15M wired right now on the cushion as he picks up the fourth spot off of turn number four. Shane DeMay has that Harris chassis hooked high wide around the outside as he is now in P4. He sets his sights on the triple seven of Cody Olsen. See if he can get up there into third, but right now, I'll tell you, it is all the 92 Jeff Stevens. Stevens walking away from Trey Pine, who is sitting in second right now. Stevens continues to build a lead that has grown to almost half a straightaway. Klein kind of comfortably in the runner-up position right now, but Olsen wants to change that as he drives it in deep into three and four, and he is all over the back bumper of the double zero. Triple seven, Cody Olsen going to work on the double OK of Trey Klein. We will, oh, we got the 99 W, Hunter Weber. He goes around here and right in the front stretch. And unfortunately, we are going to be going to caution. I'll tell you, right now, if I had to hedge my bets, I would tell you, Kimson, I think the 92 of Jeff Stevens and the 15 Emma Shane DeMay two fastest cars on the track right now. Stevens walking away, but you've got DeMay who is picking his way methodically through the field. Two ways your finish line racing hobby stocks will be going for a $600 payday and your Culver Sport Compacts will be going for $400 to win. That is next week. Right now we have some more modified business to tend to. As he brings back out, Jeff Stevens is going to come back down in turn number one and two. Double OK, Trey Klein, not able to hang with him. Meanwhile, DeMay, the low line, not the right line, as Berrigan gets around him, as well as Jim Tease now trying to work around him as well. Stevens fielding a challenge from Trey Klein on the bottom side of the racetrack. Klein drifts up, and Olsen is right there to jump on him, trying to get the number two spot. He goes top shelf into turns three and four, drifts up the racetrack a bit, and Klein will continue to go after Stevens for the top spot. Stevens still being 12 laps to go, Trey Klein hanging in there, but every time I two and four, Stevens pulls a little bit further away. Cody Olsen still sitting third, GMT's fourth, the battle is on for fifth between Demain and Chris Mills as well. Meanwhile, you have Reese and Bob Moore right behind them. DeMay trying to find his rhythm again. He's finally got to the top side again in that 15M. Now can he power around the 23 car down the back straightaway? He will try to do it in three and four. Stevens once again trying to establish his own zip code out front. As he is walking away, he leaves the key on the counter as he has already packed his bags and is heading to somewhere tropical. Jeff Stevens is going to file it down in three and four once again. Coming down halfway home. Ten down, ten to go for Jeff Stevens. Stevens clicks off the Steven. lap. Double OK trade line in second. Third right now is the triple seven of Cody Olsen. Shane DeMay sitting there in fourth. And right now the battle is on. Our defending track champ, the to Park Boy, Jim Tease, and the O2 junior of Chris Mills. As we now have nine laps to go for Jeff Stevens. Pretty well strung out around the Crawford County Speedway right now. DeMay in fourth still and trying to make up the ground that he lost, getting marred back, didn't have a great restart. And now he's trying to get the top side working again, but he is running out of time, as is everybody trying to chase down Steven. Right now, Jeff Stevens is in such a zip code of his own that barring any mechanical issues, he is looking to become the winner. The battle is on for second right now between Trey Klein and the strip of seven of Cody Olsen. Battle shaping up for the runner-up spot. Klein and Olsen. Olsen on the top shelf in the 777. 
trying to go down the back straightaway. Now goes to the bottom side as Klein isn't quite on the very bottom, but he will keep the spot off of turn number four. Four laps to go. Jeff Stevens will be coming up on lap traffic. That is the 99W of Hunter Weber. As Weber's going to three and four, going to four, Jeff Stevens coming through three. He is going to see three laps to go. Stevens coming up on a slower car that's been all over the racetrack, and he'll probably catch him before the feature event ends as he comes to two to go this time by in that 92 car. Dominant tonight. Battle is on for second right now as you got the 777 and Cody Olsen underneath the double okay and straight line as they fire off with the flag stand. They're going to sling it down into one and two once again. Now look at the main to make it ball two. We know a three car battle for two and three and four as Jeff Stevens going to come out of turn four and see the white flag out. One lap to go. DeMay onto the podium off of turn number four as Stevens catches that aforementioned lap car, goes to the inside, gets by down the back straightaway into three and four for the final time. Jeff Stevens is going to come out of turn number four. He is going to win on Smithfield Foods night. The battle is on for second and third at the line. It's going to be DeMay taking second, Trey Klein third, Cody Olsen in fourth, and the defending track champ, Jim Tease, will round out that top five. What a race. Where's my Stevens fans at? <laughs>